please subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification bell in order to get the latest updates. As when they kill a southern Cameroonian, the military is doing an excellent job. And when a military is killed, it is that the Ambazonians are evil. We should condemn evil in all its entirety. The moment the consortium was dissolved, I said one of the fatal and greatest error the government of this nation made was to have dissolved the consortium. No matter what, what should be the strategies or way uh, forward to ensure that peace reigns in Africa and Cameroon? Yeah, one of the things, oh uh, yeah, today you see that the rights of the civil society, mm. all those working in peace initiative should be encouraged. Okay. And the peace education mm -hmm. should not become a, what I say, based on ad hoc issues, but a permanent institution of uh, development, meaning mm -hmm. an instrument which others should use. It should even be taught in school, and why not make a subject for everybody? Peace should not only be used because people want to buy what I call cheap political points. And at times, people think that we use it on that basis. A nation like ours for peace to reign must be accountable to its people. Accountability somewhere, it's right. We are not talking. I want to tell you something which many don't know, that six different uh, dams constructed to generate electricity in Cameroon, none is found in the Anglophone areas of Cameroon. Presently, we count three international airports. None of that is represented in the northwest or the southwest. You go to the uh, autonomous port. Today, we have two major international ports. None of that is based in the Norway. The aspect of discrimination should be fought with, I mean, to the last energy of government. Some time ago, the government brought a policy of regional balance. To what extent this regional balance has been practiced to the detriment of those who are far from the political power is against something we said. Sometime I said something here that people thought I was very wrong, but you realize that in most what we call political power, it uh, a regional balance, it stays with certain families and why not certain villages and certain divisions and the other divisions don't benefit anything. There is a need for concern of equality. One of the system in building peace is what we just said here, a true justice system which depends on the rule of law, not the rule of the strong because we realize that the weak has no place in such societies and that those who are tough, those who have relationships, and you find people telling you that when you have people, you have everything. So they define the justice, they rule according to them. Certain decisions are passed in court because the king, the prince, the sovereign gave such really, uh, authorization. Some people are released not by the rule of law, but by the witch of the strong party. Such a system cannot last. Such a system cannot bring peace. A system where others feel that they have more right they are more citizens than the others we need to discourage that mm -hmm. that the nation cameroon the constitution of this nation in its preamble that cameroon belongs to all and that justice shall be rendered in the name of the people of cameroon it doesn't mean that justice is in favor of one person we must make that not as a speech not as propaganda but a practical existence a justice judges in court should be given the willingness to pass their decision on the audacity and the force and of the law. A, a, mother, a mother who is selling palm, uh, palm, palm oil, oil in feel that you feel that the justice system can, can permit mm. that a child that is born in Furawa, mm. a child from Mora, from Kuseri, who went to school and had the same certificate, mm. has the same possibility of becoming the Minister of Defense, mm. has the same possibility of becoming the governor, not because his name is related to the ruling party, mm. but that he merit to be there. A country where meritocracy reigns over mediocrity. This is what we talk of peace. Peace can only reign if everybody feel concerned, if everybody feel concerned and involved and that the nation belongs to us all. When others are more Cameroonian than others, then there is already a conflict problem. We should not give that as a propaganda. It is war. I said peace initiative should be built. It should be a school and academic programs where others know what they should do. And when errors are made, it should not be that they have killed, yes, when they killed a southern Cameroonian, the military is doing an excellent job. And when a military is killed, it is that the Ambazonians are evil. We should condemn evil in all its entirety. They are all Cameroonians. The worst of it, again, that happened in peace taking environment, is that those who even dictate the conflict are not the active participants in the conflict. Innocent poor people's children are dying. Innocent parents and fathers of others acting as the military are dying. The right decision is that peace must reign. Dialogue must give a chance for arms. And this is what we mean. A lot of people 
think that the arms is the way, but we are saying that in whatever situation is, peace is the ultimate. We may refuse to start with peace, but we will end up with peace. So why if we go in for arms? We should accept peace no matter how long it will take. The moment the consortium was dissolved, I said one of the fatal and greatest errors the government of this nation made was to have dissolved the consortium. No matter what it was going to take us to discuss with the rest of the consortium, we have more to take from peace initiative than to take on warlike or conflict initiative. Peace can give chance to a lot of things and that is unmeasurable. It's not even to be dealt with or to be gained or bargained with for something else.